All right, yeah. So as I just said, last week, Chad McKinney, who uh, the last time we saw him speak was talking about, uh, what, persistent hangers, things like that. The Last week, he just made a comment about somebody complaining about cargo and bed logging, and he, he just made a comment like cargo is in bed logging. But yesterday, he responded to this, to this thread again and actually gave some context into bed logging. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, there's lots of issues with it where previously, uh, let's say you were going to uh, bounty a player and they were in a multi-crew ship or a ship that had a bed, they would bed log and just disappear. And you they would go to another server and avoid being bountied that way, uh, which was super cringe. Think of like an Aurora being attacked by like a combat ship and bed logging and surviving that scenario, which is kind of silly, as well as large ships getting pirated, same thing, right? Super crazy, didn't make any sense, super goofy stuff. So they reduced the mechanic of bed logging down to like literally not working at all, which took the uh, multi-crew experience down to almost nothing. You can't spawn on a ship. You can't um, bed log on a ship if you don't own it, right? It, it, it ruined it in many ways. So I think that's more what people were talking about. But then we got a response uh, from Chad McKinney here. And he said, I've had a lot of folks ping me asking me to follow up on the main question here, which is fair since I rolled into the topic to clarify a tangential question. We are looking at what we have now and the vision for 1.0. He just mentions 1.0 and everybody's losing their mind. So that's kind of why we're talking about this for this feature and many others. The way bed logging works in game isn't going to fit that vision, but really more fundamentally, bed logging itself doesn't entirely fit that vision. I don't want to overly speak on two specifics now, but what we want ultimately is to be more ambitious and fundamentally revisit what logging in, persistence, spawning, and everything around it is, I guess. In this new world, we're going to have a drastically different game that has server meshing, persistent habs, and hangers, player-created bases, multiple stellar systems, and more. That said, because of all that, it won't be something you'll see change in 3.23. On the road to Star Citizen 1.0, so we're not on the road to 4.0 anymore, we're on the road to 1.0. This is one of many things in the game we're looking at to make sure it's hitting the mark for what the game needs and the vision CR has. Then if I scroll down a little bit, he says, internally, we're very focused on Star Citizen 1.0 as our primary goal and everything we are doing and planning is specific to hitting the vision we have for Star Citizen 1.0. I don't want to get into specific releases or dates for a particular feature list, but much of what we've already talked about publicly are critical parts that 1.0 of that 1.0 vision, such as server meshing, like you mentioned. There you go. So that's really it. That's what he said. But the things that I find to be super interesting is, and I think some people called it out, um, please don't make logging out a persistent thing where a ship stay on the server all the time, just in case that was a plan. Um, I think we... It's hard to say what the actual plan is, but knowing the way the servers work now, you can imagine that they won't work entirely differently. Um, I think ships will disappear. But... Uh, I don't know, because then at the same time, if ships disappear, then they'll reappear in an area um, that's weird. Uh, so what I think they'll probably do is that they'll be like, so you can't log out at Everus Harbor unless you're inside your own hangar. You can't log out at an outpost unless, you know, one of the... Uh, Oh, what is it called? Like landmark locations, maybe? But if you're out in the middle of space, sure, you can log out there, and then the ship would actually disappear, and then would reappear, because nobody would be around you, right? Um, That's my guess, but... Because you know what's going to happen, right? People are going to log out at caves or locations and then log in hoping to catch people or whatever right be kind of weird um but in reality what he's saying is is that the current situation with bed logging is not what we want 
you know, it was a reaction to a big problem that they had and that they're definitely looking at more of what they want in the long term for what a finished game would look like. And th what I want to take from this is this is incredibly nice to hear is that we're focusing on what a mechanics that would be in the released game instead of saying this is an alpha right which is what the entire community says to me when i say we should be focused on star citizen 1.0 with a lot of things like economy like logging in and logging out like inventory like looting like crafting like you know whatever fuel mechanics uh quantum drives and and how things work uh that's one of the things that I'm, I've been so frustrated with is that it didn't seem like we were ever focused on release type mechanics. And it was just like, ah, just throw it in. Um, yeah, he doesn't say they're abandoning bed logging. I think he's just saying they're abandoning the way it currently works and making it m something that will work for a released game. So, yeah, it, it's getting to be the... To the time where we need to do that stuff it's been that time forever but it's finally getting to be that time for the people who work at this company which is uh nice to see um and bed logging is one of those things that if the goal is 1.0 like internally it's one of the things that they have to nail down uh but he has no desire to tell us when they're going to nail those things down but if you aren't excited to hear that uh that this stuff is going to change um I don't know what you would be excited about because I think fundamentally bed logging and or or logging in and logging out is is one of the most important things in the game and how it's going to work. I think just for individuals, but most importantly for groups. How are groups going to log in, log out, and interact with each other's things? Uh, whether it be a base, whether it be a ship, whether it be a space station, whatever it is, how are people going to exist? Like we, they sold thousands and thousands, hundreds and millions of dollars worth of ships that are meant to be crewed by more than one person. And yet we have a mechanic of logging in and logging out that doesn't support that whatsoever. So obviously they have to address those things, right? My dream is, um, you know, Kraken, Idris, large, Org, org type mechanic ship that's your home that's your home that's where you log in and out every night um and if you don't uh maybe let's look at like a even an aurora if i log out in that ship i i wake up in it later i mean we currently have that now but how that works is not perfect right uh we don't have necessarily the best version of uh, combat logging yet as well. So there's so much more that needs to happen there. Yeah, and then and then you could take it even further of like ship org ownership and how will people, you know, will you be al allowed to spawn other, other people's ships and things like that, right? Um, so like what happens when I log out on somebody else's own ship but I log back in. Does that ship come back in? Am I the only one there? How will that? There's a lot of edge cases and things they're going to need to figure out here. Um, but that's sort of how things need to work, right? Um, if we all log out on an Idris together, what happens when one person logs in and the owner isn't online? So to, to Rusty's point on the screen here, please don't make logging out a persistent thing where our ships stay on the server all the time. To some extent, that's probably what needs to happen in a way, right? Where at least when I log back in, uh, that ship goes back to where it was, right? But what if I logged out and that ship moved? Well, I should log back in and that ship should be where it moved. What if the ship was despawned at a station? Then what, right? There's a lot of things, but yeah, I do think they need to put org gameplay first. And I think that's the argument of why everybody wanted Chad to talk about this. And he said a lot without saying anything, uh, but 
it sounds like hopefully in the next five years we'll hear about it. <laughs> <laughs>